Obviously, because of the nature of this matchup, you know, Sephiroth with big sword, big katana, go burr. Um, we're going to have to see a little bit of a struggle only because, you know, Hira has to consistently keep in mind, you know, you know the size of their sword, their MP usage. Wait, uh, I was okay. about to say. <laughs> but some, for sure. Some um, production issues real quick. But yeah. Um, no, exactly what you were saying. The side Sephiroth sword means Sephiroth can stay in a space where it's really tough for Hero to find time to menu. Um, so because of that, you got to find your pockets really sneakily with Hero. Usually try to get a hidden first, then menu. Maybe use your uh, side B to contest with Sephiroth's range. It's one of the few moves that could kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that sword. Or ooh, recovering high like this is really risky, though. Oh. And then recovering low, not even having the chance. It's a oh. good start for Shiny, who's not playing a Pokemon. Imagine. Anyways. Oh, oh, oh. I don't know. That was definitely looking like another SD there. That would have been a little bit sad. However, we can definitely see a little bit of, you know, just some hero shenanigans. Only because hero it just does hero things. You know, pulls out, like, a bomb from his pocket and somehow, like, just ends two out of your three socks. Yeah, oh, trying to counter that, that would not really work, I believe, unless you were, like, super close. And using the multi-hits of the Octa Slash to recover, it's going to be tough, really, to get this lead, uh, or to get this deficit back, because I feel like Shiny is not going to give um, Mataneva time to get menu and get, like, all the good buffs uh, he needs for the comeback. So Shiny is in a really comfortable spot right here. Absolutely, and... You know, three stocks to one isn't too favorable right now. But we could definitely see, you know, maybe a little bit more if we just see a little bit more usage of just, like, their aerials and whatnot. And, I mean, maybe not because we're going to have the Zapple just take out Shiny's first stock, period. Okay, but right here, combo going right here. And if you can uh, just outlast the Psych Up buff, that could be really nice. Even then, 0%, Ooh. unless it's like a fully charged crit F smash, which you kind of could have done right there. Uh, you were not in any danger. Going for Hatchet Man, I think that was just a top deck. That was like an instant press, I'm pretty sure. Just letting RNG to decide what happened. Absolutely, and we're now up with Oomph. Now, what else? Snooze, I guess. And this is the thing, like, even when Hero gets something like Oomph, uh, Sephiroth has that sword to just totally keep him out till the buff goes away. So, honestly, unless you have, like, Accelerottle, it's going to be really tough to do anything close to Sephiroth. But Accelerottle, I think, could be a really vital thing, but has not been able to have a good Accelerottle buff time yet. So, I think that's definitely a factor. That catching the air dodge, Octa Slash, such a strong move when it comes to catching air dodges because you can react to the positioning with the while the up is charging and punish. So great stuff there from Shiny. Absolutely, and then kind of one thing that I noticed a lot about this game overall was that Shiny had a really good, you know, um, understanding of when Montaneva actually really wanted to use their jump, especially when recovering, which, as we kind of were just showed, can be really bad. It doesn't matter how far, you know. Um, Hero's up he sends you, it is not going to matter if you can't actually get back to the stage. So we're just going to see the same, you know, two characters. But I want to see what, you know, Montaneva can actually do to kind of just make this a little bit more of an even game. I like the, actually, I honestly don't know if I agree with the FD pick because now uh, Montaneva has no platforms to protect them from like Sephiroth's uh, landing options. So now Sephiroth's gonna be able to juggle really good and um, still have the same like prowess when it comes to landing aerials. Three orbs on him, that means no menu time, which is also a huge factor. You know, you can't stay still and stationary um, and distance yourself, but you have those orbs, so you constantly have to be thinking about them. Another really beneficial thing that's making this matchup look stronger and stronger for Sephiroth. Absolutely. Just getting back to the stage and keeping it very even this time. We're definitely going to see, you know, a little bit more of ledge trapping coming on right here. And very nice job. Not going to get punished for that. And that down air, not going to follow up too much off of it. But that was Hatchet Man, I remember. No, uh, Hatchet, Flame Slash. Flame Slash? Hatchet Man's the really slow one oh. that like, kills you at zero. But that was very nice. Actually taking off Shiny's first stock. And I kind of like the way that they're already holding on to this, you know, lead already. Ooh, never Ooh, mind. That is going to absolutely be taken out by that F tilt. However, that was a very nice way to start off this game. And with the psych up going on. Ooh. Oh, that's a dead. 
that's a dead hero if uh you're oh no not spacing for it you can combo oh messed it up yeah you can combo that neutral B into the sweet spot of F smash if you space mm -hmm. for it, but Shiny did not space for that, and that was actually, could have been a kill, but regardless, there's still a 40% lead from that. And yes, using that side B, I really think that's a saving grace in this matchup, so I'd like to see Montenegro break, um, break it out more. Absolutely, it's definitely looking like it has a little bit more distance that can be used in neutral. Ooh, that was very scary. That can actually, you know, help Montenegro a lot. So that definitely could be something to use a little bit more. And up tilt's not going to take it, however. Ooh. Definitely seeing them back on the ledge, back struggling with that backer, going to take off that first stock. I mean, that second stock, sorry. I don't know why I said first. Hello? Yeah, it was a bit of a long slot, uh, long um, stock, so I can understand the mistake. But uh, good jab, one, two, three right there. I like the usage of that Octa Slash to cover landings. If uh, Montenegro didn't stall a bit, that would have been some more percent. And right there, now, you see Shiny adjusting his jumps a bit. That's a stop. Yes. Absolutely. Okay. I was going to say, adjusting his jumps a bit to get around that side B, realizing that uh, he got hit by it a bunch. But um, And right there, adjusting, getting that falling up air. And once again, catching landings with a B can be so strong for Sephiroth. And he never really got punished for it once that set. Get up and fist bump. <laughs> That's so crazy. And there <laughs> Not, I go. Fist bumping. <laughs> No, seem good. Good feelings all around. Period. Very nice vibes. And right here, yeah, this is a uh, look. Fifty-two percent can just dwindle so fast. One falling up here. He got caught with the up B at sixty-six, but with one hundred and twenty percent rage, didn't oh, even no. need the wing. That's insane. Just such a strong move that manually pushes you to the edge of the stage. Great stuff from um, Shiny. Great stuff.